Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing our Walmart order. This is just a fill-in haul for our family of seven. If you're new, I'm Tiffany. We have a family of seven, as I just said. It's me and my husband, we have five children, ages nine months, all the way up to 14 years. So we have all different ages, all different parts of life, everything around here. And we have a lot of kids in growth spurts right now. I feel like it's every fall they grow. I'm not sure why, but it's like every fall is there a growth, se growth spurt season around here at least. Is it like that with you guys? Do you have kids? When, is, when do yours seem to grow? Let me know in the comments because ours are always fall. So all of them are growing. All of them are eating a ton right now. I have us on a strict $400, 400 to 600 I wouldn't say strict, but it is tight budget for our family of seven. Now I get a lot of comments about this. We have two different budgets. We have a meat budget because, well, oh, let me say something. We have a meat budget and a grocery budget. Our grocery monthly budget is a, I like to keep it at 400, but it also can go to six. So it's like four to $600. I try for 400, but I don't get mad if I go over because this is a budget we are trying. We have been spending a thousand to $1,200 a month on groceries, just buying whatever and all this stuff processed foods, ready to go foods, but now I'm making everything from scratch. I don't buy snacks, I don't buy that stuff, like I make everything. So that has cut out most of our budget, which has helped a ton. And the reason we have a separate meat budget is because I buy our meat separately. We go to BJ's Warehouse, which is just like a Costco or a Sam's Club if you guys have that. BJ's is the exact same thing. Um, we buy our meat there in bulk and then we come home and break it into smaller portions and stuff like that. So that is why, that gives you a little explanation of why I have a separate meat budget versus monthly grocery budget because I buy them separate so I keep them separate. So per year I have a $1,500 meat budget. I like to stretch meat so I like to add it into like little things instead of having a, everyone having a big chunk of meat at night. I like to kind of break it down and mix it in things so I can use less meat. Um, not every night, but a lot of nights. That's one of the ways that I try to stretch and save meat. And so we do about, this is new. I just started in May, I think, of this year. So this is a budget we're trying out. $1,500 a year in meat. And then four to $600 a month in groceries. That includes all the groceries. It includes like medical, any, if I need to buy Tylenol or band-aids or whatever it includes all of that it includes all personal hygiene like bathroom stuff it includes all cleaning products toilet products diapers wipes so it includes everything that i would buy at walmart you would buy at walmart whatever um and all the food so about 400 to 600 a month on that 1500 a month or a year in meat and i try to break it down to about every four months we go spend 500 dollars. so that's three times a year 1500 that is our budget and we've been doing really well sticking to it so I gave it to us in May and we've done incredibly well so I'll share with you in a second how the budget's going how it's been going this year and I'll show you what I got behind me this is a fill-in haul um, for September so let me share with you and I'll tell you what else we got for the other months I will leave the September month haul and other fill-in hauls down below for you so here it is, here's the order. As I said, I got, it was like $52. I used a $10 promo code, so I paid $42 and 30 something cents for all of this. So let's see, I got one box of these Kool-Aid jammers because my kids have been packing lunch almost every day and I had got these in the watermelon kind on sale at BJ's because they were switching from summer stuff to fall. So they had these watermelon kind on sale. So I bought, bought a ton of them and my kids don't like them. The only one that likes it is Everly. And they have Paw Patrol on them and someone commented and said, it's because they have Paw Patrol on them. That's why they don't want them. And I was like, no, my kids could care less. They don't care what's on their juice box. They don't like the flavor. Um, I got two more cartons of eggs because we are about out of all of the eggs that we had gotten already this month. Red potatoes for an upcoming dinner this week. I think we're having like ranch, chicken, green beans, and potatoes, and we're out of potatoes, so I got red potatoes just for fun. I got some broccoli, two green peppers, two avocados, 
a cucumber and lettuce. All these green vegetables, look at that. <laughs> I realized I didn't get anything other than green vegetables. I got sour cream because we have been out. Bananas, two gallons of milk. I picked this up for fun. Um, I don't know, I saw a commercial the other day of something and I was like, oh, I want that. And then they were, Walmart didn't have it. I can't remember exactly what it was, but they had, this was what Walmart brought up instead. And I was like, oh, that looks really good. So, and then the girls carried in some of the groceries and I guess Ashlyn got this bag and she said, thank you, mom. Thank you for getting this. Cause I don't ever get anything fun. <laughs> so she's excited about that. I got strawberries, pie crusts, and these vegetables because this week I'm gonna be making either chicken or turkey pot pies. So I needed that stuff because I'm not good at making my own pie crust. I just use these. It's $1.53, I think, and it's a lot easier. I already said lettuce. Uh, we, tonight we are having um, pizza, so I got pepperoni because I went to pull out our pepperoni, and it actually was bad, so I had to throw away a little bit of our pepperoni, and I just got this little one. I got sponges because we need them upstairs in the bathrooms for cleaning. Mayonnaise we are just about out of. Mustard, we are completely out of, so I had to pick those up. Vegetable oil I needed and white vinegar I needed for cleaning. And we have been out of the Swiffer Wet Jet stuff, so I needed a refill of that. And again, as I said, it was $52. I used a $10 promo code, which puts us at $42. So let's see here. Let's add 42 Walmart. Mm -hmm. So, $329 for September, and this is for our family of seven, and today is the 21st. So, I have a little over a week left to get to 400 and I don't think I'm going to have to go back to the store, so I think that $329 is probably going to be it, our complete total budget for September. So since I started this budget, May I spent $3.99, June I spent $3.94, July $3.20, August I spent $5.59. So I'm not like upset at myself at all for going over because I've done so well, especially coming from a twelve, well, a thousand to twelve hundred dollars a month. Like I'm very proud of myself. So we're doing good. This month, you'll see in a minute how much it's gonna be. Um, and as for our meat, this so far I've spent $7.97 in September. So I still have money to go spend. We'll probably go in another month or two and stop up, stock up again. And we won't even be at our $1,500. But again, I started in May, so I'm not sure before June how much I had spent on meat. But now that I have this budget, I will try to keep it as long as possible. So right now that is our totals for meat and then per the past months. So this is Wilder, if you're new. He is nine months, almost 10 months old, right? And he was a preemie, so he's doing really well. But anyway, all of that food includes me making breakfasts, lunches, and dinners just about every day for seven people. So I'm pretty proud of myself. I got a lot of hateful comments about what I'm buying and what I'm not buying and everything. But I have to say, our family is well fed. They are full. That is my goal, is to feed them healthy, filling foods. If I feed them the right kind of foods, they aren't hungry all day and aren't snacking all day. If I'm feeding them foods that like feed their hunger instead of feed their cravings, it helps. Giving them, you know, snacks of hard boiled eggs and cheese and yogurt and whatever is a lot better for my family. I'm not saying anything against your family, but for my family, I have noticed if I give them chips, they're hungry in 20 minutes. But if I give them hard boiled egg and cheese or fruit or veggies, it helps keep them full longer. So that is another way that I've been able to cut back the budget is feeding them the right kind of food. Now that's to say that's what works for our family. It's not gonna work for all families. So, and it works right now. It might not even work for my family in a little bit, but right now it does. So that is our budget for us for right now. About $400 a month I aim for, up to at least 600. But as you saw, doing really well, sticking to closer to 400. So I'm very proud and I will continue to do this. And our goal in doing this is not only to cut back on the waste that I was spending, cause that is part of it, but we are trying to buy a house right now. We rent and our main goal in life is to buy a house with land and start farming and growing all of our own food. So 
all of our extra budget money is going towards savings so we can buy our own place. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget down below, there will be a Walmart promo code for you. If you have never used Walmart pickup before, you can get $10 off your first order and then you'll get a promo code link that you can share with your friends. And every time they use it, you'll get $10 and they'll get $10. So every time you use my code, I get $10 as well. So thank you guys so much. Say hi. Hi. And what I like about Walmart is you can see your total on screen and stay on budget and it helps a lot. It helps me a lot. And you don't have to go into Walmart. You don't have to drag all the kiddos in and you don't even have to get out of your car. They load the car for you, which is awesome. So thank you guys so much and we will see you next time. You wanna say bye? Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and enjoy these other videos we have coming up for you. Also, you can turn on the red bell notifications so you're notified of every new video we post. Thank you so much.